Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your phone calls at 855-660-4261. If you have a success story you'd like to share, love hearing success stories. If you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about formulations or the longevity products or skincare, skincare ingredients, 855-660-4261 is your call in number on the bright side. And please try to call in early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible, 855-660-4261. If we've let you on hold yesterday, the day before. Call, uh, tell our call screener that we left you on hold, and we'll get you, uh, we'll get you the front of the line. Eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one is our number. For you guys who are interested in participating in the Longevity program, we'd love to have you on the Brightside Ben team. For a one-time $10 fee, you can start a Longevity business and help spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. You can get your Longevity products at the wholesale price. And for a one-time $10 fee, you can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. One-time $10 fee, you can have your own business, get your products at the wholesale price, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And right off your home office while you're at it, right off your products, right off your mileage. Enjoy all the tax benefits of having your own business. And they can tell you all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com. Take a look at our shopping cart with all the longevity products or click on the join the team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. And I also want to encourage you to check out my blog, Pharmacist Ben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren. Okay, we are talking about the activation of various molecules in the body, this whole process of activation, specifically something called methylation. We're going to get to that here in a second. Before we do, I want to spend just a couple of minutes talking about a major cornerstone of what I call the bright side philosophy. The bright side philosophy is the idea that there is good news here. No matter what our health challenges are, there's a way out because... The body, the universe, all of creation proceeds under law. The body and the universe and all of creation move under divine law, under law, if you will. If you don't want to go divine, let's call it law. What this means in terms of our health, the premise here, the presumption, is that the body, as with all of creation, operates perfectly, perfect amundo. The human body has either evolved over millions of years or it's been designed intelligently depending on your perspective to be perfect perfect this is a premise this is a presumption if you don't believe it you don't believe it that's fine but the presumption that we're going to go under the axiom the fundamental truth that we're going to proceed from with the bright side philosophy is that the body as all of creation is perfect and the corollary of this premise this presumption is the fact that if we have something wrong with our bodies high blood pressure zits seizure disorders arthritis cancer heart disease whatever 
Something is disturbing this perfect system. Something is interfering with the perfection of this system. Now, disturbances come in two varieties. There's disturbances of excess and there's disturbances of lack. And that's it, my friends. That is all of health or the lack thereof. The body's perfect. If there, for whatever reason, it's something that is going awry, something is running amiss, something is disturbing this perfect system, and disturbances are either disturbances of excess and disturbances of lack, or disturb and or disturbances of lack. They could both be occurring simultaneously. Disturbances of excess, meaning too much of something, the body's overwhelmed. Disturbances of lack, meaning not enough of something, and the body is deficient. And that's all. It's not magic. Disease is not magical. There's no little elves shooting disease arrows at us. There's no magical spirits sprinkling disease pixie dust on us. It's not random. If there is something wrong it is, it, with the body, if something is breaking down in the body, there's too much of something or there's too little of something. And where does a doctor fit into this equation? How does a doctor insert themselves into this equation? How does a doctor, how, how dare the medical model and its representatives and its lackeys insert itself into what fundamentally is simply lack or excess? And the result of the medical model's interference in what is fundamentally lack or excess issues is not only insulting to a human being's intelligence, it is useless, it is futile, and ultimately it's dangerous and ultimately it's deadly, as we can see from the appalling health and doctor and hospital caused disease statistics. That's called iatrogenic disease, and it is just as epidemic as degenerative disease is. Iatrogenic diseases, hospital and doctor caused disease, medical caused diseases. What's more, this premise of perfection, this idea that the body is perfect, means that if we are if we want to be healthy or we're lacking health, it doesn't matter that we're taking the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It doesn't matter that we're having we're taking our magnesium or any other nutritional supplement. I talk to people all the time in my practice, on the phone, via email, on the radio, on this program. That uh, I talk to these folks, in some way they're not satisfied with the state of their health, and invariably they'll say, "Well, I'm taking the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or I'm taking uh, magnesium, or I'm on the Healthy Start Pack, and I'll hear what supplement." that they're on. It doesn't matter. My reply is always going to be, if you're sick, it doesn't matter what you're doing because you're still sick. It matters what we're not doing or what we're doing too much of. If we're not as healthy as we'd like to be, we're doing something wrong. This is not meant to beat up anybody. This is not meant to, to be judgmental. I'm not saying this as an attack. I'm saying this simply because if we want to correct a situation, we need to be addressing what we're doing wrong, not what we're doing right. Acknowledging what we're doing right, uh, we're taking the BTT, we're on the Healthy Star Pack, that's great, that can give us a nice pat on the back, but it isn't going to help us address our health issues. One of the most fundamental focal points to correct in the disease process, actually the most fundamental point to correcting the disease process, is what we've been calling the pathways. The chemical pathways are the steps that are involved in creating chemistry. That's what the body's composed of, chemicals. The body is chemistry. That's what life really is, one big multifaceted pathway of chemicals being transformed into other chemicals, being transformed into other chemicals, A into B into C. That's called chemistry, and health is about chemistry. It's not about medicine. Health is not a medical issue, it's a chemical issue. Ornithologists, people who study birds, will tell you there's ty many types of birds, toucans and cuckoo birds that can't lay their own eggs, so they steal them from other birds. Medicine is like a bird that can't lay its own eggs and has to steal the eggs of another bird. Medicine has no more power to heal the body than the Wizard of Oz had to give uh, the scarecrow a brain or the lion courage or the, or, or the tin woodman a heart. Medicine is like a cuckoo bird. It steals the eggs of the divine force. The divine force through nutrition, through oxygenation, through detoxification is what heals the body. Modern medicine and its representatives, and here I'm talking about ambulance regulatory medicine, not heroic medicine. This is a very important distinction. Heroic medicine is awesome. If you get hit by a car, you need a surgeon. You break a leg, you need a surgeon. You got high blood pressure, you don't need a doctor. Medicine, ambulatory medicine's representatives are like thieves that attempt to steal the power of God, the power of nature, the power of biochemistry, the inherent power of the human body to claim as its own. Hang tight, I'll finish this up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side, we'll be back right after this. All right, we're back.
back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. We are here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear us recommend on the program, you can pull down on the shopping cart at brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And make sure you ask about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, now BTT 2.0 featuring water-soluble B vitamins in copious, generous amounts, vitamin C, electrolytes, as well as fat-soluble nutrients. This whole notion of water-soluble nutrients and water-soluble nutrient supplementation is so important. Every time we urinate or go to the bathroom, especially if we're drinking a lot of water, or we go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, we run deficient in these very important energizing nutrients. And this, to me, is one of the hidden epidemics, the hidden deficiency states that we're all dealing with. B vitamin deficiencies, potassium deficiencies, chloride deficiencies, magnesium deficiencies, deficiencies in water-soluble nutrients. Certainly, fatty vitamin deficiencies are also important, but I think water-soluble deficiencies may be among the most significant of all nutritional deficiencies. That's why replacing water-soluble nutrients throughout the day is so important, and there's no easier way to do that than by sipping on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's tasty. Most folks will notice results like lower blood pressure, appetite suppression, weight loss, just feeling better within one or two doses. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, I just want to finish this idea up about health, about wellness, about what we need to do to address health. Health is a, chemi a chemical issue, a biochemical issue. It's not a medical issue. Doctors don't want you to know this. The medical model doesn't want you to know this because it makes a lot of money. Selling drugs, selling surgeries, selling devices, selling checkups, selling diagnostics. But the bottom line is, is health is the natural, normal state of affairs of the body unless there's excess of something or deficiencies of something, and that's not a doctor concern. If you, want to, uh, if you have some kind of disease state, some kind of breakdown in the body, look for a biochemist. Look for somebody who understands the pathways and how they're supposed to function, or even better, we ourselves should be studying the pathways and how they are supposed to function and how what happens to cause them to break down. One of the classic examples of pathways is the activation of chemicals via what we've been calling methylation. Methylation may very well be the single most important biochemical process of the body. There are literally dozens of different disease states. In fact, I would say almost every disease state that we labor under has some, uh, has some aspect of prop, uh, improper methylation occurring. Methylation is nothing more than the attachment of a little chunk of methyl, carbon if you will, that basically turns on or activates the production of biochemicals, like a key. Think of a key going into your ignition, turning the ignition on. That's what activation is. Methylation is a methyl key, a carbon key. It goes into the ignition of biochemistry and initiates the activity, the production of various chemicals in the body. If you uh, have any kind of methylation issue, anything, and I'll tell you why these occur, and I'll tell you what you could do to prevent these here in a little bit, but if you have any methylation issue, that includes alcoholism, that includes heart disease, that includes cancer, osteoporosis, osteoporosis, birth defects of all kinds, mental health issues, autism, anxiety, depression. The list is almost endless. Lung problems, Parkinson's disease, atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, chronic fatigue. Almost everything you can name that goes down, breaks down in the body has some kind of issue with methylation or defective methylation. Methylation requires these special molecules that are called methylating agents that act like little ferries, chemical ferries that shuttle little pieces of methyl around and look for Something to methyl, it's something to methylate and sticks a little chunk of methyl onto a chemical, boom, that chemical becomes active. These methylating agents are only found in living foods or once living foods, although they will break down as a food loses its life force, as a food becomes less fresh. Processed foods, the kind of foods most of us subsist on, processed, manufactured, synthetic foods, these tend to be deficient in methylating agents. Now, uh, <laughs> food manufacturers and governments understand this, and that's why you have enrichment. Enrichment is when they'll take uh, the process of food, destroy all its food value or most of its nutritional value, and then put a little bit of, uh, of the nutritional value back in synthetically, of course. That's
that's called enrichment. And at least it does provide a little smattering of methylating agents. But the best way to get your methylating agents is through natural whole foods, especially vegetables, especially vegetables, fruits perhaps, although they tend to be very high in sugar. So you got to be a little careful with fruits. And then uh, protein, uh, organ meats, flesh foods, these tend to be high in these living substances, these methylating agent substances. And then, of course, fortunately, there's supplements that we can use to improve our body's ability to methylate. Back in the 1990s, SAM-E was popular as a methylating agent. It's still very important as a methylating agent. When I first started studying nutrition, SAM-E was all the rage as an antidepressant and as an energizer. That's because methylation is very, very important for brain health. It helps you make serotonin. It helps you make dopamine. It helps you make various neurotransmitters. helps you make energy molecules. And then um, perhaps SAM-E's uh, effectiveness was a little overstated. That's the way it is sometimes in the world of nutrition. There's all the rage, and then, then the rage kind of dies down. But the fact remains that SAMe can be a very important nutritional supplement for a lot of health issues, including mental health issues, uh, anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder. Even schizophrenia and autism may, be, may benefit from SAMe supplementation. SAMe was first discovered back in the 1950s. It's involved in the production of serotonin. For you guys who are dealing with Prozac or Zoloft and you're trying to up your serotonin levels, you'd be a lot wiser to use SAMe and some of these other nutrients we'll talk about here in a little bit that are important for methylation. You can't make serotonin without methylation. You can't make pleasure hormones and reward hormones like dopamine without methylation. SAMe also can improve inflammation and can improve improve uh, pain associated with inflammatory diseases, things like arthritis and joint disease. It's been shown to increase the productivity of cartilage making cells. You can help, it can help you make more cartilage. It can upregulate. I love that word, upregulation. It can increase the production of the squishy, gummy jelly proteins that are called proteoglycans that function as shock absorbers and nutritional elements inside the body. Uh, SAMe can help you make uh, uh, proteoglycans to keep your skin nice and thick. As we get older, these protein sugar complexes, they're called proteoglycans. They tend to, uh, for the production of these substances tends to go down and our, thin, our skin becomes thinner. SAMe can help beef up the skin in this, re in this way. Protein sugar complexes, proteoglycans, conduct electrical energy. They trap water. They make cartilage more effective. As I say, they make the skin more robust and thick, and they can have an important role to play. Protein sugar complexes can have an important role to play in the health of bone and blood vessels too, and because SAMe will get you more proteoglycans, that means SAMe can help your skeletal system, it can help your blood vessel system, it can prevent strokes, all kinds of benefits with this very, very important methylating agent. And perhaps there is no more important role for SAMe and methylating agents in general than for the health of the brain. We will talk about that in our next Bright Side episode. I'm going to try to get to a couple calls in before we get to our break. Got a full board. 855-660-4261 is our number. When you hear somebody hang up, that's your cue to give us a shout if you've got questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, or anything else you want to talk about, especially success stories, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation. Lauren in California, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Lauren, let's see if we got Lauren here. Lauren, oh, we got to take a break. Lauren, you there? Yes. Lauren, I can't hear you, Lauren. We're going to take a break, Lauren. I'll get to you when we come back from our uh, from our commercial, so hang tight. And if you're on hold, we'll try to get to all our calls, or as many as we can today. 855-660-4261 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, talking to Lauren in California. Welcome to the program. How are you doing this morning, Lauren? Thank you, Ben. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. How can we help you? Well, I have a success story that I'd like to share this morning. Nice. Love success stories. What's going on? Can you speak up a little bit? I'm having a hard time hearing you, though. Yeah. Um, so I've been struggling with acne for Oh, many Lauren, years. my friend Lauren. What's yeah. up, Lauren? Ah, oh, yes. I'm got, let me let me set this up, okay, Lauren? Hang on. You yeah, mind for sure. a second? Uh, so I met Lauren, for the listeners here, I met Lauren a couple weeks ago, going on three weeks ago in uh, 
in Santa Cruz. I did a talk at the beginning of March, and uh, Lauren, at the end of my talks, people come up and we answer questions and we chat a little bit, and I saw Lauren, and Lauren had uh, some breakouts going on, but I could tell Lauren had really good skin underneath breakouts. This happens a lot with skin. You'll see really good skin, but there's breakouts on top of the skin, and that always tells me, that, like I was saying at the beginning of the program, something is disturbing the perfection of the system. When it comes to skin health, the skin is very receptive to food, so Lauren and I spent some time together and uh, gave Lauren some ideas, and then Lauren called me yesterday, and she, what she said to me was so important, I thought, that I asked Lauren to call on the program, and I told her that I, I would take her call, uh, and I want Lauren to, sh I, would, I asked Lauren if she would sh mind sharing some of, uh, some of what she noticed by taking just some very simple steps, no doctors, no drugs, no nothing, just some very simple steps I wanted, uh, I, I was really impressed, and I'm, all, yeah, I'm always impressed when I see these kinds of things, but I was especially impressed when Lauren told me uh, her story, and I asked her to share her story, so Maybe some folks who are listening for the first time or have only listened to this program a couple times can benefit as well. So go ahead, Lauren. Uh, now that I've set that up, tell, tell the folks your story. Well, yeah. Um, you know, my skin has been a struggle for a long time and very uncomfortable to live with. Um, and even just in the past few months, it was seemingly getting worse and worse. And um, my dad listens to your show, and he kept bugging me to listen to you. He said, you know, he's a, an expert on skin, so give it a listen. Um, so I took his advice, and, um, you know, I just thought what great information you have and decided that I would check out your blog and, you know, start taking some of um, your advice. And some of the main things that I started doing was um, the Healthy Start Pack, and then some really key things, I think, for me have been the um, zinc with copper and bioluminitely essence, which you're always talking about, uh, the ultimate enzyme, vitamin A and E, um, and then some other things that I really appreciated that I just didn't even consider for skin health was the um, intermittent fasting and mm. uh, whey protein with lecithin and raw eggs and some other nice. stuff. Okay. Um, so, I've so been trying you, to do like the ketogenic diet more. And what'd you notice? Tell us what. Tell everybody what you noticed. Um, well, amazingly, in just a couple of weeks, a little over a couple of weeks, my breakout just completely cleared up. I mean, my, awesome. my skin's virtually clear right now. Um, there's some hyperpigmentation and a little bit of scarring, but I know that will um, go away. continue to get better. Yes, it will. Now, had um, you been to doctors before? Yeah, uh, estheticians. I spent hundreds of dollars going to estheticians, and it, you know, it would clear up the skin a bit, but it never looked healthy and glowing like it is now, and it's That's awesome. really smooth, um, and I've never really experienced that. Hey, hey Lauren. So, you hey. know, it's doing itself from the inside out. That's, uh, thank you so much for sharing that story. Listen, if you will send me an email, ben at ksco.com, um, put your mailing address in there. I'll send you out some stuff, for, uh, some topical skincare for your hyperpigmentation. I'm going to send you out some fatty vitamin C that you can use for the hyperpigmentation. That'll make your skin look even better. And keep up the good work because it's only been a couple of weeks. Can you imagine what your skin's going to look like in the next month or two months or three months or, or six months as you progress and as you continue? It's going to be just amazing and you know, when your skin looks good, you just feel good. And, and not only that, but when you change the texture and the quality and the health of your skin, you're changing the health of your body as well. So thanks so much for sharing that, Lauren. I appreciate it. Don't forget to send me an email. I'll send you out some topical vitamin C, okay? Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Have a beautiful day. That's a great story. I love hearing success stories because, you know, it's one thing when I'm telling you, I sit here and I give you theory and I give you ideas and I, I love the theory and I love chemistry and I love the ideas, but it's really, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. It's really what happens in the body when you start to start to apply these theoretical ideas and make them practical. The difference between knowledge and wisdom is wisdom is experiential. Wisdom is practical. So I can give you knowledge here, but once you take the knowledge and you apply it into your own life and you see how the these ideas work in terms of your, uh, the health of your skin, the health of your body, the health of your circulatory system. That's wisdom. And that's really when the, uh, these theoretical, abstract, sometimes a a academic kinds of ideas really, really, really become very important. Thanks so much for sharing that, Lauren. I appreciate it. Let's move on to North Carolina. Welcome Tara to the Bright Side. Good morning, Tara. What's going on? Hi, Ben. Um, I called a couple weeks ago about my daughter's skin. Okay. And I just want to say thank you for sharing your knowledge. Um, I've been listening to you every day. And my daughter's cradle cap is pretty much completely gone. Nice. Um, and her inflammation has gone down. Awesome. Um, we're still dealing with the excess, like, the lesions and stuff. 
Now, what um, did you do? Tell me what you did exactly, what kind of um, moves you made, nutritional well, or... Well, we completely changed our diet. We're okay. now gluten-free, and I'm also dairy-free. Nice. And um, I can tell that she's very less colicky. Oh, that's so awesome. I've been, you know, doing a food journal, and... Um, is she saying hello? She's saying is she saying yeah. thank you? What's your, what's your daughter's name? Her name's Harmony. Harm oh I, I got an email from you, didn't I? Just recently, Tara, I think. Yeah. Hi Harmony. I hope Harmony's happy. Harmony's gonna be listening to the bright side when she gets older. I know that. Oh yeah, every time I turn it on, she lightens up. She knows. That's awesome. Um, Any, anything we can help you with, Tara? Um, I was wondering if the vitamin A cream the compound vitamin A cream would help her skin. Like make I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't use any, uh, that could be a little bit aggressive. What you might want to do uh, is get something uh, something called, I'm going to spell this for you. I'll, I'll tell you what it is and I'll spell it. It's called retinyl palmitate. And that's a mild, mild form of vitamin A. It's spelled R as in Randy, E T I N. Y L retinyl second word palmitate P A L M I T A T E look for something that's got a two percent retinyl palmitate and you can use that but I wouldn't use retinol or retinoic acid on a baby's skin that could be a little bit aggressive but retinyl palmitate that's a nice mild form of vitamin A and that might help just soften things up and uh, if you can't find any send me an email send me another email I'll tell you where you can get that and I got to move on Tara thanks so much for calling and uh, say put harmony on there harmony. Hope you're going to be a, a bright side listener when you get older. Even now, you can listen to the bright side. Thanks, Tara. Thanks, Harmony. You guys have a good day, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye bye. All right, let's see. Moving on. Renee in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Hi, Ben. Hey, Renee. Hey. Oh, I'm so, so glad you're able to take my call. Sure. Um, I'm very concerned about my daughter. Okay, what's up? Um, she is. Uh, to, she had a visit with a doctor who, she had a traumatic event happen to her at college. How old is she? And how old, how old she's is your daughter? 20. Okay. She's going to be 20 in a couple of days. Okay. She did have a traumatic event. Um, she's been seeing a counselor, and the counselor has now been telling her to, I think she, she'll, she'll tell her, I think you need to go to antidepressant. Now, look, what, is that going to make the traumatic event disappear? Is it going to erase the traumatic event from memory? Actually, there are drugs now that give you to erase your memories. The beta blocker drugs they're using to erase memories. Uh, that's that's the latest medical, brilliant medical strategy. Hang tight, Renee. We'll, we'll answer your question when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. Right side, I am Pharmacist Ben, talking to Renee in Texas. Renee, let's, uh, if you could, uh, you got a couple calls I want to get to, so let's uh, let's tell me about what's going on with your daughter. She got, had a traumatic event. They're trying to put her on Prozac, correct, or Effexor, or some serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Is that is that the case? Exactly. It. She, her comment was, the counselor's comment was, even something that would happen to her that's, that is beautiful and great, that would bring up her serotonin, it wouldn't bring it up fast enough to, you know, for the serotonin to be as effective well, to help her. Okay, so here's the story. If she has, a, there's two kinds of depression. There's something called episodic depression, and then there's chronic depression. Episodic depression, as the name implies, is related to an episode, some, something that happens in our life, a traumatic event, as you're describing. Uh, you know, that's a legitimate cause for depression. That's not a disease. That's something that needs to be medicated. Your, your daughter had a traumatic event, and now she's reacting normally to that traumatic event. Now, if it becomes chronic, that's when you really want to start to address it. But a normal amount of depression, a, a, a small amount or a, a little bit of depression is, is normal after you have a, a traumatic event. It's not a reason to be drugged. It's not a reason to be medicated. Now, she may want to have some psychological help uh, to help her deal with the issue, but it's not a medical concern. That having been said, there's wonderful nutritional supplements that you can use to adjust biochemistry, but I don't want you to look at this strictly as a biochemical phenomena. It may be just a healthy, normal response to a traumatic event, and you really want your sister or your daughter to understand this. 
that she's not sick. She very well could be perfectly healthy and normal and just responding in a, in a normal fashion to some kind of trauma. So number one, that's what I would be doing, is letting your daughter know that this is a healthy, normal way to respond. It, it may be a healthy, normal way to respond to a traumatic event. Now, if she can't get over it, then she may need to have some psychological things going on, some psychological help, and, and that's above and beyond the scope of this program. But from a nutritional standpoint, to work with the brain chemistry, what you want to think about is energy. The brain and the nervous system use a lot of energy, as does the cardiovascular system, the heart, and the circulatory system. The brain burns up lots of sugar, lots of energy. Most of the sugar needs in the body, the energy needs in the body are used up by the brain. So that means if she's running low on energy, she's going to be running low on brain energy specifically, and that can exacerbate depression. Depression literally means the energy of the body is depressed. It's low. So what do you do? Number one, you got to keep the blood sugar stable. That's incredibly, incredibly important for all all depressive issues, anything that's low energy. When the body goes high sugar, it'll go low sugar uh, shortly thereafter. Of course, then we'll eat more sugar, then we'll go low sugar, high blood sugar, low blood sugar, high blood sugar, low blood sugar. I call it the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster. And you got to keep that, you got to keep the sugar stable so you get off that roller coaster. That means more protein, less insulin and sugar bumping foods, less bread and pasta and rice and potatoes, uh, and more protein. Uh, secondly, there's one Wonderful strategies for building serotonin, nutritional strategies, uh, using a protein in a combination with vegetables. As it turns out, you need carbohydrates to make serotonin. You actually need insulin to make serotonin. Uh, so many, many uh, depressed folks will self-medicate using the wrong kinds of carbohydrates to build serotonin. What I'm telling you is the combination of protein plus the right kind of carbohydrates, in addition to some nutrients, which I'll tell you about here in a minute, or the most is the most effective way to build serotonin without going into the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster. Veggies and whey protein. If she can't do whey, have her do hemp seed protein. Then you want to throw in the micronutrients, the small, uh, the nutrients that you need in small amounts, especially the B vitamins and vitamin C, both of which are critical for building brain chemicals, especially serotonin. Um, vitamin C maybe a 2,000 to 5,000 milligrams a day, and then all the B vitamins. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the best way to get your B vitamins and vitamin C, and I would be having your daughter sip on the BTT all day long. She probably wants to throw in some of the osteomag. Magnesium can be very helpful for brain health issues. She might want to throw some SAMe in. We're going to talk about SAMe and depression here on Monday. Uh, SAMe, maybe 100, 200, even up to 300 milligrams a day of SAMe. That might be helpful for her. Um, and then essential fatty acids are also important for all brain health issues. That pretty much means the healthy start pack. I would get her on that as soon as possible. And make sure she's sipping on the BTT all day long. Uh, if you want to throw in a couple other things, zinc, 50, uh, zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day might be helpful for her. Something called 5-HT. P may be helpful. That'll help her make some serotonin, 100 to 200 milligrams of that a day. If she wants to go the herbal route, there's something called rhodiola that can be helpful for, uh, for brain health issues, for depression specifically. And then also St. John's wort. Some folks get some relief from St. John's wort. You can make teas out of that or you can use capsules. And I hope that helps you. Renee, got to move on. Thanks so much for your call. Anything else you want to add quickly? No, no, this is, this is, this is terrific. I okay, really good appreciate deal. it. Thank you so much. God bless and good luck with everything. I'm glad you called. Okay, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Let's go off off to Florida. Welcome Steve to the bright side. What is up, my friend? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Ben, good talking to you again. Good, good talking to you. How can we help you, Steve? Well, I got a question, but uh, uh, first of all, I was thinking about doing the uh, bright side team and selling some products. Okay, I'd love and, to have you aboard. Uh, well, uh, yeah, and I was just wondering, uh, will you do any promotional uh, product for us and, and things like that? Sure, I'll help you out. Anybody out there, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, not only will I help you out on the phone doing three ways where, you, where I talk to your customers, but I'll even come out there and do a talk for you. If you can set up a talk in Florida, wherever you're at, uh, for 10, 20, well, I like to have 20, 30, 50, 100 people. I'll fly out there on my nickel to support you uh, and do a talk for you if you join the Brightside Ben team. Um, I want you aboard, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you successful. So, Steve, you can call. Why don't you shoot me an email? I'll handle, I'll work with you personally, okay? Shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com. Say, Steve from Florida wants to join the team. Put it in the subject heading, and then put your phone number in there, and I'll get back to you. Uh, real, we only got a couple minutes, Steve. What's going on? How can I help you today? That's great. I really appreciate that. My pleasure. Um, 
that, uh, that what I got is I got a uh, thing where I got an immune problem. I always got, I'm trying to build my immune system up. I'm always getting congestion. I'm always getting the allergies. Okay. I'm always getting uh, okay. a cold every time the temperature changes. Got it. I'm wondering if I can take more than 2,000 that vitamin C and oh, yeah. 5 milligrams of vitamin D is what I'm taking. If I take really any more than that, it seems like I get the loose. Foul. Okay. So. Okay. Let's let's address that. First of all, congestion always, as you and you're right on, Steve. Congratulations. You, you you understand this very well. Congestion and immunity go hand in hand. Congestion is one of the ways the body protects itself. It will create a bunch of snotty, mucusy material to trap toxins and to trap allergens and to protect tissue. So whenever you're snotty, whenever you feel kind of mucusy or clogged up, that's a sign that your immune system has been activated, and your job is to figure out what is activating the immune system. Dairy is a, a, a one of the most likely suspects. Grains can do it. Pretty much all foods can do it. So what you want to do is notice when your congestion gets worse, when you get an increase in snottiness or mucus, and see if you can link that up to foods. Now, certainly... Uh, hay fever, pollen, seeds, things in the air can do it, but the first thing you want to focus on is digestive health issues. Vitamin C is awesome for all immune issues. Vitamin C is awesome for everything. As Thomas Levy calls it, it is the primal panacea, and sometimes we underappreciate how important it is just because we hear about it so much. So continue on the vitamin C. The BTT, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, is a great way to get your vitamin C. You'll get 1,000 milligrams per couple scoops, but you can bump that up. You can take extra vitamin C. You can take 10 grams of it a day. However, I know what you're talking about because I get crampy sometimes too if I take too much. Divide your vitamin C doses up. If you have diarrhea, loose stools, constipation, or I'm sorry, cramping, after you do your vitamin C, take it in, in smaller doses, maybe two grams, uh, uh, two gram doses, or even better, just sip on it all day long. But make sure you're getting your vitamin C and you can absolutely take high doses of it. The B-complex is also important. All the water-soluble nutrients are important. And make sure you're using the BioLumin Nightly Essence if you're not already on that, as well as fermented foods. Focus on digestive health and uh, digestive wellness. Make sure you're using liquid nutrients because if you do have a digestive health issue, that may mean that you're not absorbing other nutrients. There's also great nutrients for specifically for the immune system. Uh, probably zinc is the most important mineral. Maybe zinc and, and selenium are the two most important minerals for the immune system. Uh, I'd be doing 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. You always want to balance that zinc out with copper. So throw in two to four milligrams of copper with your zinc picolinate. Make sure it's the picolinate form of zinc. And then um, selenium, the ultimate selenium from longevity. That's a great form of selenium as well as uh, selenium is also uh, good for the immune system as well. Uh, 400, to 400 to 600 micrograms of selenium. Magnesium is important for the immune system too. So that means the osteomag. And then also for immune health, vitamin A, key player. Vitamin A and zinc work together, as we've said so many times on this program. 20,000 international units of vitamin A. Great. For the vitamin D is also important for the immune system. The best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun. But if you want to supplement 5,000 international units a day of vitamin D3 is a good supplemental form of vitamin D. Uh, fish oil will get you some vitamin D. The ultimate EFAs will get you vitamin D2. Thanks so much for your call, Steve. Send me an email. Put on there, Steve from Florida, and say that you want to join the Brightside Ben team, and I'll get back to you. Anybody out there, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team and make some money selling longevity products and help spread the word. I'm here to help you. I can help you in three ways on phone calls or I'm willing to fly out to wherever you are and, and put on a do a talk and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Help spread the word about the power and importance of the longevity nutritional supplement program. Thanks for listening folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a beautiful wonderful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.